that's genius. That's genius. What's up guys and how you doing and welcome to another episode of JDTV Co. And I'm Nick and that's Nick and we're here to uh, talk tools today. And we're going to remain positive. No negativity today. Today is uh, a beautiful day in New Jersey. Cold as I don't know what and there's lots of snow on the ground. But I'm venturing off for the tool truck leaving Nick here alone today and he will uh, have to set the world on fire by himself. Because I got stuff to do. I am a tool truck guy a tool route guy, a mobile guy. I will be in my route, attending to my customer's needs. But, Nick will be here for you. All right. All right, I was, I was sitting here today and I was thinking about, you know, my mechanics and my friends and my customers through the years. And I don't like when I, I, don't like when I hear guys are hacks. I don't like hacks, right? No. I like good professional technicians. I do. And uh, I'm going to tell you two quick stories about, like, and, and I, you know, I brought some home today. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. That's my favorite hammer. This is my favorite hammer. I've built many, many of Harley Davidson projects and choppers and restorations with this hammer and World War II Jeeps through the years. This, I love this hammer. I've owned this hammer probably, man, I, I must own this hammer 30, probably 30 years I've owned this hammer. So it's from Mac Tools. That's how old it is. And I, 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 this morning I went to look for it in the garage. And I couldn't find it. Uh -oh. It wasn't there. Where was but it? I had a lot of brass hammers. And I'm saying to myself, there's no way I would let it out of my sight. And I walked over to my shovel head and was sitting around right, right next to where I was working on it last. I love this hammer. And I know you guys love your favorite hammer. But on the tool truck. And I'm going to do a whole episode on tool trucks one day. I'm going to talk about every tool truck I've ever owned. And I think this is number six. Oh, I don't know. Five or six. And this is the, this is the brass hammer that is on my tool truck. Look at look how worn that is. That's just from changing bits and tips and shit like that. You see that? I love this hammer. I've had guys on my truck want to buy this hammer through the years, and I wouldn't sell it for nothing. I wouldn't take $500 for this hammer. I love this hammer. <laughs> or this one. I wouldn't take $500 for this hammer either. I promise you. I'm leaving my will. This is going to Nick, and this is going to my nephew Phil. Okay? They're both going to get a brass hammer when I die. I got no money. I got nothing else to leave them. I'm leaving brass hammers. Threw your money in the, in the trash. I threw the money in. Tr you, I, I threw the money in the trash. You, you were there for that. You get that money out of your way. Let me get that out of your way. Hang on. Put that right in the trash. There's nothing left, guys. Okay. And the reason why I'm talking about brass hammers is because I got two stories. Okay. One of my customers, Dominican guy, Johnny, long time ago. The guy was an animal. Worked like a caveman. He's over there. What a hammer smashing an axle, smashing an axle. Boom, piece breaks off right in his eye. Boom, it's a wrap. No more vision in that eye. True story. Okay, Johnny lost his sight. Had no safety glasses and using a, a metal hardened hammer on an axle. Guys, I know everybody does it, but you should never hit a hammer against a hardened object or another hammer. Okay, then there was a customer. Let's just call him Mr. Mr. G. Owned the trucking company, dump trucks. Okay, I don't know if you remember. You probably did. So I go to a shop one day, big, huge shop, dark as a cave. I walk in there. And I'm like, yo, yo. Nobody's answering me. I see a drop light under a truck. I walk over to the truck. There's blood all over. Like somebody got shot. Okay, like somebody got shot. I'm like, holy shit, what happened, right? And I'm looking, and there's a blood trail. I mean a blood trail. Like, somebody just got shot with a 45 blood trail. And I'm following the blood trail. Goes up to the, to, to the set of steps that goes upstairs. I go, I'm following the blood trail. And in the middle of the office is this guy, Mr. G, who's a very successful businessman. I don't know why he was under the truck. I had no business to be there. Laying in a pool of blood the size of this table. And I'm like, Mr. G, what happened? He's like, ah. Oh. He goes, Nick. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I said, yeah. clearly. I mean, he was in a puddle of blood. So, like, my mother's a nurse. My mother's been a nurse for 40 years. So I call her up and I said, Mom, I know you're never supposed to use a tourniquet, but I think this guy's going to die if I don't do it. So I made a tourniquet with the belt, his belt, not mine, because I don't wear a belt at that time. So I put a tourniquet on his leg. We got, and we called the ambulance in North, and they never, ever, 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 ever came. They probably still didn't come to this day. We threw him in the back of a Jeep and drove him to the, his buddy drove him. I didn't drive. I, was, I had to go back to work. So, drove him to the hospital and saved him. What happened was, Mr. G was hitting a dry shaft. Not the dry shaft, the uh, universal shaft. 
the universal joint, which is a hardened piece of steel with a metal hammer. Piece of dry shaft broke off, hit him in the leg and cut his femur artery. I cannot believe he's not dead. True story. You What? We shouldn't have let you do a video on hammers. You're going to break this table. Well, I'm telling this story. I came to me, I want to talk about hammers. If Mr. G was using a brass hammer, it would have never, ever, ever happened. Don't be a hack. The life you save may be your own. Okay? All right. So the reason why I'm talking about brass hammers is because I have these to sell. These are made by AFF. They're invincibles. They're copper. And these are $69. We're, we're going to do a package deal. Okay? I don't have a lot of them, but 69 bucks are going to be. It's four pounds, copper. You could beat anything with this thing. Okay? And um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I'm going to package them up with this. This is one of our best sellers ever. We sold thousands of these. And I know. I know. Snap-ons are made in America. Snap-ons will cut an atom in half. They will launch you to, to, to outer space. But they're like, you know, $500. This set right here, 29 piece punch and chisel set. Every punch and chisel you'll ever need in your life. 50, 58 bucks we sell these for. I'm doing a package deal today. The punch and chisels with the hammer, 129. Your wife will thank you. Your kids will thank you. Your eyeballs will thank you. And wear safety glasses, guys. I'm gonna, I know, I gotta, I'm gonna start selling. I have a lot of them here. Jody, I know, I got safety glasses. Wear safety glasses. It takes a second. I have them to, on display. It takes a second to put them on, and you might save your eyes. I know a guy that's, I know two guys that are blind and one eye. Because where Johnny works, I'll tell you another quick story. Where Johnny works, and he lost his vision in that eye, his boss, one time, I don't wanna say his name, but you know him. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. Was disconnecting a fuel line under pressure, gas, boom, right in his eye. Detached retina. Same shop. Okay? They don't have a good track record. With no. Eyes. Two two guys walking around blind and one. Well, one guy, Johnny, did die a couple years later. That's another story for another time. But he's no longer with us. Rest in peace, Johnny. Johnny's a good guy. Okay. Brass copper hammer. Use it, buy it, own it. Okay. So we're going to put a deal up. 129. We'll get it on the app. We have an app, JDT Co. And guys, do me a favor. Please hit the like thing up, thumb, thumbs up, guy. I want to feel positive love and vibrations, okay? I'm not a very religious guy, but I'm a spiritual guy. True story. I, I'm a big uh, believer in the uh, a higher being. Okay, Pew. enough of that. I'm gonna do a full video on uh, boots and covers. Yes, these fit the 8.0 and 6.0 battery. I'm the only person in the world with these right now. The only person. They're made for me by me in my basement. When I'm done working, I go make boots. That's not true. That's not true. But it made a good story. Okay. They are made in the USA. Some of the best deals are cut at the bar. Right or wrong? True story. True story. Some of the best deals are cut at the bar. And I met this guy at a bar one time in Las Vegas. And we've had a, we've been a match made in heaven ever since. Right or wrong? Yep. Am I lying? So we did a deal. This is my crackhead deal. Okay. I actually broke into a shipping container and stole all these. That's why I got such, such a good deal. Is that true? No, that's not true. I remember sending the email to buy them. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a, a combination. We sold a lot of these, and I got a, I got a bunch left, but they're, when they're gone, they're gonna be gone forever. Milwaukee, three eights, mid-torque impact, 600 pounds of torque, beer tool. This is the newest version made. Did I talk about this yet or no? On, Probably. I'm up. And the socket set, three inch drive, metric, and SAE, because yes, some people still work on SAE stuff, me especially. I work on Jeeps and Harleys, that's it. All my Jeeps are SE, 1944, 1943. There was no metric back then. We were fighting against metrics back then, right? We were, we were in war in Europe. What? I don't know if that's exactly the... Of course it's true. Of course it's, <laughs> it's true. true but... We were fighting because we want the SAE and they oh. want the street metric down our ass. And I didn't want that metric shit stuff. I, I, I'm not going to swear. Beep all this. Okay. So anyway, I got a sidetrack. But anyway, SAE and metric socket set and it's 234. You will not find a better deal in the world, I promise you. Right? Sure. You can find a better Why deal. Not? That's the best deal on the internet. And it's mine. My deal. Free That's shipping. our impact, too. Oh, yeah. I, I dropped it hard. I know. So this is now mine. I own this. Nick, mark I that. I wanted one anyway. Yeah, mark this for me, and I'll bring it to my snowmobile house. I'll change carbides with it. All right, guys. Okay. The, I don't know if you guys know I smoke cigars. So I bought these new cigar clippers, and they're good on copper, too. Oh, really? Yeah, you can do both. They work on cigars and copper copper, ho copper clamps. Copper, not copper, what do you call them? Copper cables. Battery cables. Gone. 
or it can remove a, I don't, I don't want to go there. Anyway, we're going to put these on. I got these for $22. This is $22. The hammer and chisels, $129. This, $234. And I got a couple more of these left. When these are gone, they're all gone. Six pound, eight pound hammer, $99. Okay? All right, listen. My ears hurt. I'm going to tell one quick, one more story. Should I tell another story? No, save it for the next one. Okay, I was going to talk about my buddy George. Oh, uh, George? Yeah. Geo? I'm going to tell a truck driving story. And let me tell you something. You see, that's the one thing. Like, when we started selling tools, we just focused mainly on mechanics. And there's nothing wrong with mechanics. I love mechanics. I've, been, made, I've made a living with mechanics. I've interacted with mechanics my whole life, 35 years, and even before that even. But you know what? When we launched this online thing, we've come to find out that we, we, we got really popular with farmers, truck drivers, and- Truck drivers like to buy tools. Do your, do, truck drivers like to buy tools, and farmers do too. But we're, tr let's talk about truck drivers right now. Truck drivers are a different breed. I grew up in a truck driving family. I love trucks, love truck drivers. I love all that shit, okay? Anyway, this guy calls us up, and he's like, he's like, I need tools, give me a call. So we, you know, he always buys tools from us, and he always, we always call him up, so we call him up, and his name is George. He's a great guy. I love George, okay? George is the salt of the earth. He will do, if I called up George and said, George, I got a flat tire, I can't get it off. He goes, Nick, don't even bother, I'll be right there. That's the kind of guy George is. So anyway, I'm on he the phone. He might be in California, but he'll be right there. Doesn't matter, he'll be here. He'll be here. He was a carny too, you know that, right? Yeah. He was a carny, then a truck driver. That's a solid guy. Okay, so anyway, so George calls us up. He's like, yeah, he's somebody. He, so Nick's like, hey, what are you doing, George? He goes, I'm just going down this big old hill, 87,000 pounds on me, and I'm just, you know, and I hear in the back, I'm brrrr, Jake Bray barking, right? So I'm like, Jesus, I go, George, I go, why don't you call back when you get to the bottom? I'm nah, okay, don't worry, but I got, I need, and he's giving us a tool. I need this, I need this. The Jake's barking, brrrr. And he's, he's got, now he's got the window open, hanging the phone out the, out the door. We're here to Jake going, right? This guy's nuts. I love him, though. So, so now he's like, all right, give me all that stuff. So Nick's like, oh, he goes, I got to update your credit card. So he's like, oh, I'll give it to you. I said, George, please. I said, get to the bottom of the hill. When you get a chance, when you're stopped, give us the credit card. Hell no, he goes. I'm a driver. I can do both of these he's things. Like, I'm a professional. I'm a professional. So here he, there he is, walking his truck down the hill, 87,000 pounds, 86,000 pounds, whatever it was. Jake Brake barking, and he's got his wallet in his hand, and he's giving us his credit card information over the phone. And let me tell you something. Before you go and judge him and say you could have killed somebody, he didn't, okay? <laughs> he's a professional, okay? And you guys all do it anyway. We're all on our phones all day driving. And if you are that thin-skinned that you think that really matters, listen, at this point, they should let you take your driving test with your phone in your hand. They should. Well, th that's a great idea. That's a great idea. That's gold. Okay. You're onto something. Listen, listen, listen. At the end of the day, I said what I had to say. I got it off my chest. Everything I wanted to talk about. Now, what he does with any of this is on him. I gave him gold. He may want to whittle it down to some tin. Okay. We might have to. That's his decision. But I'm giving him a, a solid work piece. All right, guys. Enough. I gotta go to work. I gotta drive my tool truck to Newark, run around the streets, collect money, sell tools, and uh, save the world. That's for another day. All right, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Because when I drop these gems, I need you guys to watch these gems. And thank you very much, Paige. 5,000 subscribers. Are we at 5,000? No, we're close. We're, 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 like, we're, we're, like, we're probably going to be at 5,000. Yeah, I'm nipping on 5,000 butts. And let me tell you something. It's a little slower than I thought, guys. I thought I'd be like, Phew! stratosphere shot. All right, but listen. Remember what I said? Come for the price. Stay for the show. Peace! All right, listen, I gotta go to work. Woo! Sweating. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. Nice.